Hello, and welcome back to Secluded. Now, I have spent a bit of time with our chargy boys blowing up some wither skeletons off camera because it's doing the same thing over and over again, and nobody wants to see that. But, what's not doing the same thing over and over again are wither fights, because they are very unpredictable. <laughs> see, potions, 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 potions! Udo decided to join me for the wither fights. So, if we're fighting him uh, in bedrock, do you want to go to the end? Uh, I haven't really done it that much, the bedrock stuff. Uh, and probably CS, yeah. Okay. You good? Yep. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Little hidey hole. Yeah, piece of cake. I just want to pick it. Oh, there's no achievement with that. That's the... Uh, it's the... Uh, beacon. Ah. Uh. I have... I can have six ancient. So, I did say that each wither fight was going to be a little bit different, but, uh... Those were not different. Not even in the slightest, those were all exactly the same. I've never actually killed the Wither in the end bedrock, and man, it's just so much easier. I imagine it's- well, I already know it's a nightmare if the thing gets loose, that's why I haven't done it before, but hey, can't argue with the amount of beacons I have now. With those out of the way though, I'd like to get back to our copper farm. Payment. Ah! Cool. So, looks like, uh, there will not be shenanigans about the copper. This is not quite the amount, but he left a bunch of extra diamonds, so I will accept it as legal tender. I approve. Thank you, bear. Now I will put this on my roof so that I don't toss up the side projects like I keep doing. I know I'm getting slightly sidetracked, but I want to be efficient, so I'm going over to Copper Cafe to see if I've made any sales, and if I have, then I'll also put that up on my roof. Oh, wow. That is, uh... Quite the mound. My word, how much is up there? Good Christ! bunch of copper up there too. I want the copper. Uh, I don't care about the rest of it. I, I just want those linked. When the game begins, all the chains have been removed. To sign up and get an emerald from the left button on the left. Rename it, use name it, drop it on the courts below. Cost a diamond block to sign up. Please place it on top of the link. It's sponsored by the hatches and other also welcome at the top. Alrighty. So, this is a game. Looks like. Although the specifics of said game, I don't actually know. But I think I'm gonna sign up. We need a diamond block as well as the emerald. Let me get one. And what's the most obnoxious place to put this block? In the handle. There you go. Perfect. Oops. I didn't actually... Rename that. <laughs> And there we go. Now I'm part of this. I don't even know what this is entirely yet, but I am part of it. You know, I'm a little surprised that made a uh, bigger dent in the roof than I thought it actually would. We have a mostly closed space now. Obviously, I'm still gonna need a lot more copper, but I like what we have going so far. It's going pretty good, not gonna lie. Right, so here's what we're gonna do for the snow golems. We're going to put them in minecarts in a place where the zombies cannot reach them and they will not move. 
we're gonna put the the snow golems uh, here. Yeah, this side's better. I've been digging out a drowned farm all the live long day. W. A. S. D. And that's a chamber all built. Now I just need to get the cobweb, which I have. Hey, look at that. I thought I had to go get it, but I didn't. And then we got to put in the snow golems along here. And now to go steal some pumpkins from our wonderful friend, Cake. You may have deconstructed your farm, but that won't stop me from stealing. <laughs> oh, and then... Right into your slot. Oh, shit. Back. Minor, 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 minor setback. There we go. Now, you will be serving a life sentence here. There's nothing you can do but fire. You must fight. You must fight to protect me from the zombies. In which you will be spawning more zombies. But that is the point. I know it seems counterintuitive. But trust me. It'll be worth it. Just fight for your lives. Literally. Your life is on the line. <laughs> now these guys are all super obvious to the zombies. But any adult zombies shouldn't be able to reach. Uh, the only problem are the baby zombies, which I think we can resolve that by digging out a space here, wherein they will fall down and die. Either way, at this point, baby zombies shouldn't be able to reach the snow golems here, and adult drowned should be dropping right here whenever we turn on the farm. So I am going to turn on the spawner, and see if that is indeed what we get. If it's not what we get, then... Uh, some of you may die. But that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Yep. Did I mess something up? In the streams? Because I'm not seeing them. Yep, I did mess up. I don't have signs here. Hey, do you have signs, gentlemen? I, I don't appear to have any backup signs. I need to craft some signs. And that should be good. Oh, dear. Well. I have respiration and you don't. At least I don't think you do. And Do you not see the target? Fire upon him! He cannot fire. Why? Can you not see them? Is that why? Need I do this? Yeah. So we just need slabs. We gotta separate those because any kind of ranged anything in Minecraft will aim for the heads of things. What are you guys looking at? A creeper or something? I don't see anything. Alright, that ought to do now. No zombies should be able to fit through this. And the golems should be able to shoot them. The only issue? Baby zombies. We still gotta get them worked out. I think they'll be able to fit up through this. That worries me. Let's give it a test. Ah, beautiful. They are making contact. I'm pretty sure I only saw those three spawn. Ooh. Yeah, I'm out of range of the spawner from he over here. We're getting... Oh yeah, we're getting reinforcement mechanics. Oh, I didn't account for this. Oh, there's unlit caves. Oh, that means zombies are going to be coming after me all the time here. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I did not account for this. It even got a baby zombie down there. I don't know if you saw, but yep, there he is. Ah, it even caught the baby zombie. It didn't make it over to the golems. Oh my god, that is way more. What? No way. No. I was not there for that long. 
I was not next to the spawner for that long. I'm out of range of it right now. It's not on. These are just... This backwards, they're all reinforcement zombies. There's a baby. Let's watch the baby. See what happens. Ah, uh, yep, he tries to move forward and can't jump because of the cobwebs and then just slowly sinks between the gaps. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, it's working. I didn't expect it to be working this way. Oh my god, and he could shoot the baby from there. <laughs> now I gotta work on making... I gotta filter them out over to the killing zone, which is gonna be right there, because that's the closest point I can activate the spawner. Right, this is getting far out of hand. Die before more of you spawn. Hey, drowned head. And two gold ingots? Wait a minute. That's concerning. Oh lord, give me a sign. I need a few more signs. Put some signs up. Keep the water levels good. Ow. Heather. Could you burn in hell? Thank you. With the potato. Appreciate it. Ow, 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 ow. Good, now that I got the water. I'm totally fine. Having zombies in this system while I'm trying to... Ah, oh, baby zombie got free. Backup plan. Just have a second drop off. Hope I don't get assaulted by zombies. I'm going to get assaulted by zombies. Yep. And that ought to do. I just gotta get a collection system in here as well. And occasionally come down here to make sure that the golems are okay, because this part of the system is not perfect yet. Alright, our first problem. The drowned can resist the water. One of them just dropped gold. I saw it. That's not a good sign. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? That's a... Uh, that's a gold ingot. They should be dropping copper. Kind of defeats the purpose of this farm. You know, if that's... That's been removed. And I'm not gonna have a good time. That's bad. I mean, the farm's definitely working. It's just not working that fast. And as you could just saw there... They're dropping gold. I think that's an issue with fabric. So unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to wait until this gets fixed because there's really nothing I can do about it right now. Uh, but I suppose until then we have a temporary gold farm. <laughs> Maybe we can get ourselves soul speed with this at the very least. Well, we did get the drowned farm functional, or the copper farm, the gold farm, the rotten flesh farm functional because currently we're not going to be getting any copper. I think our next project is probably going to be working on the interior because I've been struggling with the storage system for a good long while and it's finally time I actually put together an auto sorter. As you can see I've steadily laid out some resources along here and that is in preparation to make a storage system. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the redstone resources to slap together. How are you this deep in my cave? As is typical with these time lapses, I was interrupted by Kick. Did I tell you guys how much I hate working with villagers now? <laughs> You've mentioned it at least once. So the entire store, when it's done, you're gonna ride it. You're gonna ride a <laughs> llama through the entire store, <laughs> and there are stop stations where the llamas will start and stop. And I spent forever designing a custom, re like reusable loadable llama thing. Let's. Uh, go oh down. my god. This was the simplest solution. Like, Jay was trying to figure out like some weird combination of whatnot, and I was like, what if I just do this? And You're this sorting works. using llamas. 
<laughs> Anyways, yeah, so then there'll be stop stations. Oh my god. And then you'll, like, press the button to go to, like, the next thing to shop for. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just gonna, like, loop you through the entire store. This, this is going to be fantastic. Yeah. And the other thing is, like, you can't go backwards in the store, so you have to go through everything. Every <laughs> time. It's aggressive marketing. Also... Yeah. Where is Hudo's? Oh! Where have you seen it? it? No, I have not. It's like 500 skulls an hour. Like that? Jesus. Jesus. It uses a, a pad, which then goes through the nether to the overworld, then back through the nether in another portal, to then drop them. So yeah, that so they're never he, technically spawned in, basically. If, if he's getting 500 an hour, we, time, he's getting, what, times three of that of actual weather skeletons? Yeah, he's getting ridiculous. Well, it's, it's more e like. Estimate if he gets. It's probably gets, more like 300 skulls per hour, but it's ridiculously fast. But if mm -hmm. he's getting one skull for every three, basically. Yeah, generally. the issue is that it takes two players to run it. Gotcha. And back to the time lapse. This was uh, quite the hassle to make, but I am very happy with the way it looks. As you might have noticed, I, I fell in this hole quite a lot during the construction, and uh, I decided to keep the hole, you know? I, I don't know what we're gonna do with the hole, but we have a hole here now. Maybe we could make like a little brewery down here or something, like a little witch's den. But beyond that, the idea that the factory is overgrown is definitely present in the floors, but not very much in the walls. We're gonna have to spruce it up a bit more later down the line, but maybe have some vines hanging down, broken ceilings, that sort of thing. But with the way it is right now, I'm pretty happy with it. Now I hear that the issue with uh, drowned dropping gold has been resolved. It was an issue with the heads data pack that we use. Uh, it was messing with their loot tables so that it, they had the original drops. So now, if we go down here, we should see that Drowned are dropping copper now. Well, I can confirm that Drowned do now drop copper. Collected quite a bit from this farm so far. Uh, the ratio is pretty similar to the head drop, but still, this is something we can actually AFK at and get copper. Uh, there are obviously plenty of improvements I can do to this farm because right now they're not getting in as efficiently as I would like. They're, they are steadily making their way into the water stream, but as you can tell, not very well. <sighs> that all said and done though, I've had just about enough of these guys for tonight, so I think we're gonna go ahead and do some setup for some plans I have next episode. And one of those involves cauldrons. A lot of cauldrons. Oh yeah, and the copper too. I forgot about that. Uh, let's go ahead and slap that up. You know, I probably should make sure all the lights are good in my base before I do this, but it's, it's, it's fine, you know, it's, it's fine. It's not like we're gonna be attacked at any point. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Just a couple cauldrons. This ought to do, I think. How many cauldrons is that? Hold up, let me calculate how many cauldrons is that. 583 cauldrons that I have. Just a couple. Just, just a couple cauldrons. <laughs> now in order to not desecrate our beautiful landscape, we're gonna go far into the mountains. 
Now I'm going to cover this mountain in cauldrons. Be right back. Alright, now all of our cauldrons are placed, and thinking about it, this is just really expensive mob proofing, is what I'm doing here. <laughs> but no. Uh, this is for a project I'm going to be doing in the next video. If you'd like to see that, then go ahead and uh, stop by in uh, about six days. I upload every three days, so the next video is probably going to be a Valheim video, and then you'll see another secluded. So, pop by then, and you should see what this is all about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.